How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at a $300 gaming PC that you could build here in 2021. Despite the ridiculous prices on graphics cards and processors right now, it's still possible to build PCs, so don't freak out. This PC that we're gonna be looking at today can play most games at 60 FPS all the way up to 120, depending on the games, obviously. If you're playing Minecraft, you're gonna be getting more than that. But games like GTA and Fortnite are gonna run very smooth. So this $300 gaming PC will be able to run games like GTA, Valorant, Apex, and Fortnite with ease. And if you guys watch this video all the way through, you guys will see a way that you could build this PC for about 200 and skip a few parts and still be able to play some games. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the parts that I picked out and how much I got them for. So this PC has all used parts, which is how we're able to do it for this price. So for the CPU, we have a Ryzen 3 220 G, which is an APU, so it can run without a graphics card and it could actually run some games. So if you guys only have $200 in your budget right now, then you could still build this PC and just wait to put the graphics card in. And here's a list of benchmarks that that CPU can run without a graphics card. And then with the CPU, we actually got an Asus motherboard along the side of it. So we got the CPU, the stock cooler, and the motherboard all for $100 from a really awesome person. Everything was really taken care of, so it works flawlessly. We just had to get some RAM and then a case and a graphics card and a power, okay, there's a lot more we still need actually. So for the RAM, we used one eight gigabyte stick. We did end up buying two at once, but we only needed one for this build. So if you guys do wanna spend an extra like 20 bucks, just add another stick of RAM and you'll be up to 16. So for the graphics card, this is probably the most important part of any gaming PC build. We got a 750 Ti, which I know is an older GPU, but it's still a pretty decent two gigabyte card. And with PC prices right now, it's really hard to get a nicer graphics graphics card without having to spend at least like 300. The 750 Ti is a really good graphics card still, despite being older. It was actually the first graphics card that I ever had and it was able to play a lot of games. I played Minecraft with shaders. I was able to play Battlefield 3 at like ultra settings. It's a really good card. For the power supply, we have an A-Res Gaming 500 watt. I don't know if I even pronounced that right. Never heard of the brand, but seem to be decent and it's working fine. Power supplies are pretty hard to come by right now, which is why we kind of have to pick and choose what we spend money on right now. So the case is really what made this build really nice and it was only $50, it's called the Raid Max Neon. Now it comes with three fans on the front, there's no exhaust fan. Front panel is plastic, so you can see the fans really well, but it's also kind of a cheaper plastic. It can scratch fairly easy. We have a plastic side panel, it's not glass, so that's one downside, but for $50, I'm pretty impressed and it definitely has the looks. This case was really easy to build in and if you guys are interested, I should be making a review on this case fairly soon. Then for the storage for this PC, we just have a 240 gig SSD. It's an M.2, so it just plugs straight into the motherboard, no extra wires. It's a lot easier sometimes than having to mess around with all the cables, so we just stuck with that. Obviously, if you guys need more storage, get a one terabyte hard drive and slap it in there and you should be good. So if you guys are interested in any of these parts, I will have a full Amazon list down below of parts or at least equivalent parts because sometimes it's hard to find the exact parts that I found on like Facebook Marketplace on Amazon. So the final look of this PC was pretty impressive in my opinion. I really love the way it turned out. There's no big gaudy logos, which is a plus. Some cases tend to do that, especially on the lower end. The fans are really pretty, but I believe you can set these fans up to an RGB header to get exactly what you want. I really love the way these fans look and I really think it makes this case pop. I think this build actually turned out pretty cool because almost everything on the inside is actually black. It's a darker motherboard and the stock Ryzen CPU cooler looks pretty nice. It's a really clean build and I really doubt anyone would ever believe you if you said you only spent $300 on it. All right, so now the most important part, let's talk about some games and how they ran. Unfortunately for this PC, I wasn't able to benchmark too many just because I'm so busy right now, but we did test GTA and Fortnite and GTA actually ran really smooth on this. So if you guys are a GTA fan, this PC is for you. So GTA 5 at medium settings got 100 FPS and then high got 80 FPS. So if you're running at medium settings, you probably could record and possibly stream with this PC. Fortnite ran really smooth as well. We got 100 FPS at medium settings and then at high, we got 40 FPS. All these games were benchmarked at 1080p, so we weren't messing around with like 3D resolution. We just kept it all at 1080p. So just because those are the only games I benchmarked doesn't mean it couldn't play other games. With the specs of this PC, I'm fairly confident that this thing could run nearly any game. Obviously, you'll just have to mess with settings to make it run optimal, but it's gonna be a decent PC. For $300, it's gonna be a really nice budget PC because 
so you guys could keep building on it, slowly upgrading it over time. It's a big case, so you guys have room to grow. Anyways, that is the $300 budget gaming PC of 2021 here in the PC part shortage. We're still finding ways to build PCs and I hope you guys are able to. Like I said, all the parts for this build will be down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys would like more builds like this, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. And on that note, I'll see you guys on my next video.